All right, my uh, off time here in the evening times, away from my baby cakes here teaching. Uh, I'm taking up my old hobby of game making. And I'm using this Unity 3D free that you can download. Pretty sweet. Chronicling my little uh, adventures here and learning. I've done a, I'm doing a little course here in this Unity making your own game and such. So. This one I've worked on so far, I made a little train and stuff. These are all the different tools that you can use to do do everything with. just want to show you kind of where I'm at. Now I'm going to be holding this camera and trying to do controls, so I might have to go between the two. Let me show you what it looks like kind of in-game. I've added a skybox today. That one there. Just move my mouse around. Some cliffs, textures. Now I actually painted these on right here, the rock ones. Painted the trees in. And I won't be able to move the mouse and the controls at the same time, so I'll just kind of walk down this little path here. This is my little game I'm making here first off. I don't get no name for it or anything like that, so. Now I'm going to switch back over to my mouse. Going down a little path here. I'm going to probably put a little hot springs or some sort down here in this path. I painted these rock textures here in the ground texture, I mean. I'm going to put a little water thing down here soon. But uh, I have this little hot spring thing going on there. Of course, got my it's a little snow level, so you can see I can go up the side of the mountain here. I haven't done any colliders yet, any collision things. So here I'm probably gonna put a little camp of some sort, and down over here I started making a path as well. You can see right there. And I'm gonna put some kind of thing up here. My curse back up here. Now those trees are moving. I've got to learn how to do tweaking here, I'm hoping. <laughs> but what those are is for optimization. Full mesh when you're right in front of it, but when you're far away to speed up CPU time, it does like a billboard type effect. So that's just changing the billboard, so. But this is what I've done so far, so I think it looks pretty cool. And when I learn some more crap, I'll just uh, jump on here and do it again. So to get out of it, I'm going to close back up out of there and go back to my editor. And I'm going to screw around some more stuff on this. All right, later.